menstrual cycle is controlled by signals between the brain, the ovaries, and the uterus. Each month, the body prepares for the possibility of pregnancy. At the start of a new menstrual cycle, hormone levels drop, causing the uterine lining to shed. In response, the hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, signaling the pituitary gland to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These hormones travel through the bloodstream to the ovaries, preparing new follicles to grow. Follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates several ovarian follicles to grow. Each follicle contains an immature egg. Usually one follicle becomes dominant. As the follicle develops, granulosa cells release estrogen. Estrogen thickens the uterine lining, preparing it for possible implantation. When estrogen levels remain high, the pituitary releases a surge of luteinizing hormone. This triggers ovulation, the release of a mature egg. The fimbriae of the fallopian tube sweep the egg inside. Cilia lining the tube guide it toward the uterus. After ovulation, the follicle transforms into the corpus luteum. It releases progesterone, which stabilizes the uterine lining. If fertilization occurs, sperm travel through the fallopian tube and one succeeds in entering the egg. This triggers signals that keep estrogen and progesterone levels high to preserve the uterine lining. If not, the corpus luteum degenerates, hormone levels fall, and the lining begins to shed. The functional layer of the endometrium is shed during menstruation. This marks the beginning of a new cycle, as FSH levels rise again. FSH, LH, estrogen and progesterone work together to regulate the menstrual cycle and women's reproductive health.